Good morning. I think we're ready to get started. I'd like to welcome everybody to the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Hillwood High School. I'm Dr. Stephen Schaefer, and I'm proud to serve as the executive principal of Hillwood High School. I'd like to thank everybody for attending this special event with us this morning as we count down to the construction and completion of what will be the finest educational facility, I want to say in the state, but possibly in the southeast or even beyond. And so we are thrilled that you can join us here today. I'd like to take a moment to thank uh, the Hillwood High School Orchestra, who's been playing some tunes for us this morning. Thank you guys for coming out. They are led uh, by our director, Tyler Meredith. Uh, Mr. Meredith also serves as our choir director. And we have one member from our Hillwood Chamber Choir who's going to be with us this morning to sing the national anthem. At this time, Ms. Hannah Wilson-Patton, if you will come up uh, and sing our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Thank you, Hannah. Excellent job. I was just watching as you were singing. I never thought the sight of construction equipment and gravel and shovels would look so beautiful, but it does to me today. I just, it's still kind of hard to believe that we've made it to this, uh, to this place. Uh, once again, thank you all for joining us this morning. Uh, when I accepted this position as principal three years ago, I was aware of the plan uh, that was approved by our school board to relocate Hillwood out to the Bellevue property. Uh, leading a school community through a transition like this is not going to be an easy task, uh, but it was definitely an appealing part of the, uh, of the process. Uh, but what I didn't know back in May, May of 2018 is that we would need an additional three years to get to uh, where we are today. Uh, although I can also say three years ago, we, we didn't know we would have three different mayors during a short span, a major budget crisis, a change in superintendent of schools, uh, tornadoes and worldwide pandemic, just to name a few of the things we've been dealing with for the past three years. But we have overcome all of that and we are excited to be here today. I'm also reminded of a group of people that fought uh, very, very hard to make sure that this day happened. And a couple of them come to mind include Councilman Rosenberg uh, and former board member Amy Froge, who are both with us today. They kept this new campus at the forefront of their work and we would not be here today without their efforts, along with the strong support from our school, of our school community that we have received from Mayor Cooper, Dr. Battle, our MNPS school board members, and our Metro Council, many of which are here today as well. <laughs> Despite the challenges our city has faced, we're here today and we're ready to begin the next chapter in the Hillwood High School history. It's a history that started in 1959 with the opening of a new high school, incorporating an old elementary school facilities uh, that currently sits on our property, a 1970s addition, a merger with Bellevue High School in 1980, and several other renovations that have allowed us to function on our current campus. However, if you visit us in recent years, we have far passed the time where small renovations will keep us going, and our students are more than ready to learn in a modern educational facility. 
This move will assist our school community with accomplishing the goal of being the number one choice for families in the West Nashville and Bellevue community. It location pays tribute to the Bellevue community, which has been the source of our largest enrollment uh, through the years. We are also excited that our families from our North Nashville community will still have access to the great education at Hillwood High School. So as, we prepare for the, so as we prepare for the fall of 2023, two cohorts of students come to my mind. The first is the class of 2027. It's a long way off, but that will be the first group that spends all four years in this new building. I don't know if they're here today, but I'm going to ask Dr. Jones and uh, Mr. Seth Swihart, those are our H.G. Hill and Bellevue principals, your job is to get those sixth graders motivated to open this building in just a few short years. I'm also excited for our class of 2024. That is our current ninth graders that are housed at our current campus. They will get to graduate in this new facility for their senior year. One of those students, Ellie Greenier, is here today, and I'm going to ask her to share a few words from the student perspective. Good morning. My name is Ellie Greenier, and I'm a freshman, freshman at Hillwood High School and a former student at Bellevue Middle School. I'm here to talk about the numerous benefits of the new high school set to be completed in my senior year. In my opinion, one of the most important things for a school to have is a safe environment. This extends to literal safety, but also feeling safe in the environment. With an old school such as Hillwood, it's bound to feel worn down, which leads to a feeling of unease. Having a new, clean environment will make you feel more stable and comfortable and will help with the overall learning experience. I know I will feel much more comfortable in a building that feels sturdy and well kept. Another huge benefit for people like me who went to Bellevue Middle, Middle is how much closer the school would be. With Bellevue being one of the main schools students come from, Hillwood is quite the distance away. Having it be closer brings many positive effects. For example, with a clo closer school zone, I'd be able to get more sleep. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're in high school, every minute counts. Another automatic effect is the fact that it would be easier to get to and from school quicker, which could affect parents, availability, and much more. I also know several people who would have gone to a Bellevue High School if there was one, but instead went to a private school. This is why I'm so incredibly excited to move into this new school. It is now my great pleasure to introduce the Director of Schools for MNPS, Dr. Adrian Battle. Dr. Battle was named Director of Metro Nashville Public Schools by unanimous vote of the Board of Education in March of 2020. Dr. Battle is a native of Nashville. She's a graduate of John Overton High School, and she has been a teacher, principal, and administrator in MNPS. She's focused on making sure that every student is known and on a path to success, while also working to retain and recruit the best talent for the district. Please join me in welcoming our Director of Schools, Adrian Battle. Good morning, and thank you, um, Ellie for that kind introduction. And thank you for um, all that you shared with us about this great experience of being here on the new site. And thank you to all of our Hillwood students who are here today representing MNPS so well with your talents. Also want to thank Dr. Schaefer and his team for everything you're doing for your students and families at the current Hillwood site. While getting ready to move to this new wonderful site, in a couple of years. I look forward to visiting you all on Monday and celebrating your graduating class of 2021 next week. Thank you to Mayor John Cooper, Council Members Dave Rosenberg and Gloria Hauser, Board Member Abigail Tyler, and former Board Member Amy Frog for all of your support and advocacy you've given to this project over many years. Thanks also to the Council's Education Committee Chair, Tom Druffel, this has been a great team effort. Thank you also to all of our other elected officials who are in attendance. And last but not least, thank you to our facilities management team led by David Prophet for all the work you've put into this project at this point. Any school construction project, especially a high school, is a massive undertaking. And we obviously still have a long way to go. But hey, <laughs> There's no stopping us now. At Metro National Public Schools, we believe it is critical that every student is known. We need to understand every student's strengths and every student's needs so we can make sure every student is on a path to success. And it is easier to do that in facilities that work for our students and our staff. Facilities that are modern, efficient, 
and comfortable, facilities that are easy to get in and out of, facilities that are built to current standards. It is also easier when students are coming to a high school that is near where they live. Your high school should be in your neighborhood. This campus on this site will be not only a new place for students to learn and grow, but also a new hub for the Bellevue community. It's fun to imagine football games, choir concerts, track meets, dramatic perform drama performances, and other school events happening here in just a couple of years. As our city grows and changes, MPS will continue to grow and change with it to better serve our community by working to make investments like this. I look forward to watching this campus come to life and celebrating with you again when we open it. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce our mayor, who has championed this project since before he took office. He has been a strong partner with Metro National Public Schools throughout the pandemic, and he has continued to work with Metro Council members to invest in our schools with his new capital spending plan, which includes this project and several others benefiting our students and our families. Please join me now in welcoming our mayor, Mayor John Cooper. Thank you, doctor, very much. Um, this is a great moment in Nashville. Later this week, we're gonna pull back all our healthcare restrictions, except we should continue to wear masks, of course. Um, and with the initiation of the construction here, we're entering a new era, a new era of greatness in our city. And I wanna thank Dr. Battle for being fundamental to this great chapter going forward. And to our school board members, Amy Frog, I have to say I'm miss not serving with you, but Abigail, um, Tyler, thank you. And council members, hey, we got it done. And Sharon Hurt and Gloria Hauser and Sherry Weiner from a previous era, but at every floor vote on this, she made sure there were the right number of votes. And Dave Rosenberg, who stalwart support of this project. And Representative Bo Mitchell, right here. But also all of our teachers and retirees and student ambassadors and Dr. Schaefer. But let's just take a moment and admire the beautiful site which will be the heart of our community here. This is going to be the most beautiful single spot for any high school I know of anywhere. And it's appropriate to be the beating heart of a city of 75,000 people here in Davidson County. But if you would, let's take a moment in our hearts to thank a teacher. You know, being human takes a lot of work. And a lot of that work comes from our teachers. And just take a moment, we all have a teacher to thank in our heart for making us who we are today. I mean, when I was in the third grade, I could not pronounce the letter R. I would say Mr. President Roosevelt was a Wafweider. And you know, it was uh, a teacher named Mrs. Thomas who stayed with me after school, who helped me get beyond that. It's a in our own lives, we have dozens of teachers that made such a difference in our lives. But we have a society that runs on knowledge. We have a society that runs on knowledge. And here we're at a site where we're going to not only make it, we're going to distribute it. And with that distribution of knowledge is going to come prosperity, because prosperity in the modern era requires innovation and productivity increases. That's a hard thing because those productivity increases are going to require science and knowledge and skill. And here's where that great work will go on. Now, other countries know this and are taking advantage of America's failure to lead on this issue. But that is not Nashville. That is not Nashville. And with Councilman Hurt and Rosenberg and 
Wiener and Hauser and past council member Mitchell, that is not Nashville. We are going to continue to lead. We are going to create a great era for our school system. We are going to make our children equipped to deal with the future and it's going to be bright. And in this site, it's also going to be beautiful. So this is a great moment. I want to welcome everybody back when we're actually going to dedicate this building and with David Prophet working every day on this. It's going to be quicker than we thought and better built. And when the construction is finished, the school is going to create a sense of identity and feeling for our community from their students and their families. A city of 75,000 people will hold the school in its heart and great things will come from that. And it's going to provide young people with opportunities that match their potential. Well, that's quite a statement to match their potential. These incredible young people that are going to lead us on for the rest of the century, these musicians, these students, our future. And to respond to that for the first time in a generation, we are funding the school board's request for $81 million. We are going to have the best paid teachers in the state of Tennessee. In Nashville, we're going to invest in social emotional learning and digital literacy. Now, I, I made these commitments when I was running for office, but it's your council representatives, the, your school board members, that are making that a reality. And for each one of them, their hard and thankless work, I'll just tell you, it's less fun than it looks sometimes. Let's reach out and thank them for their leadership in creating the environment so that I believe Metro Schools with our superintendent and a board, with a great working relationship with each other and the community and the best paid teachers in the state and our teacher retention numbers are great and look at our principals, look at our students. We're gonna have a lot of additional money from the Biden administration, your additional money from Metro, the highest amount of capital spending ever in the city, the building and completion of new schools, this is going to be a golden age for Metro schools, but it is with the work of everybody that I have mentioned that that is going to be possible. So it's a transformational area for our schools and our educators. You're going to see it happen right here every day. David, I won't come out and count the number of shovels of dirt that get pushed around. But I am thrilled that we're making an additional commitment that's not always been true for schools, that this is going to be a beautiful school, right? That with the building and the site, we're going to indicate the value that we are placing on the role of education going forward. And so with that, I want to thank all of you for being here. There is more to do in this city. There's inevitably a counter narrative that says we can't, we shouldn't, why bother? But we have a future to deliver for our children and that they're going to deliver for their grandchildren and the payback from this project is going to re reverberate for the century ahead and to be the kind of city that we can be with all the challenges that we face. We've had a few in the last year, but what did it show? It showed that we are resilient, that we can face down problems and make it stronger and better to the other side. And then with that, let me just finish where I started. Let's all just take a moment and in our hearts thank the teachers that made us who we are and the future teachers that are going to make our children and grandchildren who they are. And it is a hard thing. This being human takes a lot of work. We knowledge, the transmission of knowledge is, takes years and only with the energy and um, fortitude of youth sometimes do I think that you can Think of all of the subjects, all of the lesson plans, all of the homeworks, all of the class time, every bit of it necessary in this modern world to create a city and a society that not only we grow, but we also prosper. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Battle, for having me here. And if I can, let's just... All these council people that work so hard over the years to make this possible, all of our school board members, Representative, 
who've done this, let's just take a moment and thank them also, because it's not me, the mayor, that made this happen. It's you. It's you that made that possible because we're determined to have a great city. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mayor Cooper. We can and we should and we will. Um, strong schools make strong communities and strong communities make strong schools. Today's celebration is the result of campaigns to build a high school in Bellevue, a community that strongly supports public schools but has not had a high school since Bellevue High School closed in 1980. And the work to make this happen kicked into high gear in 2014 and has been a relentless push since then. In 2015 2016, our amazing school board member, Amy Froge, worked with Metro Schools to host meetings across the cluster to evaluate options. As that process went on, this location emerged as an option, and former council member Sherry Weiner sprung into action to make it viable. Representative Bo Mitchell jumped in to campaign for the project and marshaled parents and community leaders and other residents to speak up culminating in a public hearing at the, at the, at the uh, school board in January 2017 that included a long line of parents, teachers and elected officials, including Sherry Bo, Council Member Sharon Hurt, and former Council Member Charlie Tigard. And we have a fantastic blue ribbon teacher at Bellevue Middle School named Eli Foster, by the way. And if you haven't had a chance to hear his three-legged stool speech from that meeting, it's worth going back and watching. So the school board voted unanimously after that public hearing to make this the new home of our high school. That spring, the Metro Council approved funding for the purchase of this land. And in 2018, the Metro Council approved funding for the site work that's been done. Then bad politics got into the way until the 2019 election when, then, when now Mayor John Cooper announced his commitment to get this high school built. Our new school board member, Abigail Tyler, kept the project at the forefront and Dr. Adrian Battle was strongly supportive, and in Mayor Cooper's full, first full capital spending plan, he followed through on his campaign promise with a $100 million allocation to get this built as part of a historic investment in Metro Schools, which is gonna have great impact here and across the entire city. I'd like to extend my deepest thanks to the many parents, teachers, and community leaders who spoke loudly for this project, to Amy Frog for her work getting the project prioritized at Metro Schools, engaging the community in obtaining the support of the school board. To Sherry Weiner for her work securing this site and ensuring communication between MNPS and Metro to keep the project moving. To Bo Mitchell for his work developing the campaign to champion the project. To Sharon Hurt for advocating strongly to move the high school to Bellevue. To Abigail Tyler for ensuring the project stayed a priority at Metro Schools and for her work still to come to Charlie Tigard for his long-standing efforts to build a high school in Bellevue, to Dr. Battle and Mayor Cooper for their unwavering support for the school and their dedication to public education that's making such a difference. This really is a golden age. And to the school board and Metro Council for listening closely to the public, studying the issue, and voting overwhelmingly to get this school built for the benefit of so many families. Strong schools make strong communities, and strong communities make strong schools. I can't think of a better partner for Metro Schools than Bellevue, or a better partner for Bellevue than Metro Schools. And I couldn't be prouder or, or more excited about what's going on here. Thank you all for your part in making it happen. And I'd like to welcome up tw District 22 Council Member Gloria Hauser. Thank you, Dave, for mentioning all of the wonderful individuals that have worked hard and relentlessly for years to make this happen. It does take a village. It's not one person's glory or one person's push, but it's all of us coming together. And that's what this represents, this beautiful, fabulous site. Sherry, I don't know how you did it, but thanks. This is just incredible. Uh, I grew up where, where I started high school was in the inner city, and we couldn't even go outside the door during the day. Uh, and then I moved 
and we had a beautiful rural site in which we could actually walk out the door during lunch and see the green trees and, and the sky, and it made such a difference. And that's one of the wonderful things that our students are going to be able to bring that piece of nature within, because if you look at the plans, there are windows everywhere, folks, and it is fabulous. And I do think all the individuals that took all the hard work relentlessly year after year after year when we didn't think it would really happen to make this happen. But what does that mean to our community? What it means to our community is now we have a central place, a sense of pride within our community. Our children will be going to school closer to where they live. And what does that mean? That means that in addition to what our high schooler said about a few more minutes of sleep, which of course we know is all uh, wonderful and necessary. But in addition to that, it means that you're more likely to participate in the extracurricular activities. It means that parents are more likely to be able to come to the games and, and actually participate and support our schools. One of the things I was told is that when we had a high school in Bellevue, that you know the Friday night games were packed because all the families would come and be here. And that's what we will see again. We will see a central place in which we all can show our community pride, be able to support our students, and be able to feel like we now have a central place in Bellevue to point to and be part of. And that's what this school represents. It represents Bellevue. It represents families. It represents our commitment to our children. When the, the mayor talked about the commitment of capital spending, that is a portion of it. But I want to make sure that we continue to support our schools, that we not only have beautiful physical facilities. This is glorious. We all love digging the dirt. We don't really necessarily think about the money that it takes to continue to support those schools, to make sure that the maintenance is done, to make sure that the books are up to date and that the, all the facilities are there to support our kids. And I hope that we are able and that you keep the pressure on us, keep the pressure on the mayor and the council to continue to support our schools and to continue to make sure that we provide for our children so that their future is laid out for them to where they can see, yes, I can get there, I can become what I want to, and I've got the knowledge and I've got the support to be able to do that. And that's gonna take pressure from you, parents. Tell us what's important to you. Because if we say our children are important to us, then we need to support what helps those children to grow and to be healthy adults and to seize this future that the Mayor Cooper has mentioned. So thank you so much for everyone that has kept the pressure on so we could come to today. Keep the pressure on so we continue to support our schools and continue to support our teachers and continue to support our kids. This is a glorious day. I am so thrilled. Thank you, Council, Council Member Hauser. And thank you to all the other council members and Amy Froke who came before me on the school board and has really been the push behind getting this done. It has been a lifelong dream. My own mother attended Bellevue High School when it was in Bellevue. And we have a long legacy of my family does of growing up and living here. And we are so excited to see this come to fruition. Schools have long been the touch point around com which communities have gathered. After all, they serve our most valuable resource, our children. And I have seen firsthand what happens when a community invests in the neighborhood schools. You've heard that a rising tide lifts all boats. A supported school lifts the whole community. Hillwood has already been doing amazing things. And Dr. Schaefer, I've been so excited to see what has happened under your tenure just in the last three years. And I cannot wait to see what you have going forward. Um, I'm really excited to see what we can accomplish in a state-of-the-art building with facilities that are not only up to code but are there for our students to be able to do more than they had ever imagined. So I'm, I'm excited about this new opportunity. I'm excited for our students. I'm excited for my own children to have the opportunity to attend a place like this. And um, Dr. Schaefer, I can't wait to hear what else you have to say about what we're going to do. <laughs> Thank you.
I feel a little more pressure than I did about 30 minutes ago. We got a lot of work still to do, uh, but we are excited for the challenge. Uh, a couple things I want to conclude with. Uh, I think you mentioned we need a village uh, to get to this point. Well, we need that same village to invest in us moving forward. Uh, we definitely don't stop when the building gets built. Uh, and so we're definitely excited to, with all of our community partners. We've had a lot of businesses in Bellevue that are signing up to get involved with our school, and we're very excited about that. Um, but I also want to acknowledge our current students real quick. We're still committed to giving them everything that they need while we close out the current location. So I think one of them mentioned they would like to come back and, and maybe take a couple years off so they can join us when we open. But we know that's not always a reality. But uh, in the new location, it will still be your school, your alma mater, but we'll do everything we can to get you involved uh, throughout the next couple of years as you close out your high school career. I want to thank a couple of other people. I know we had a long list in the program, but I want to make sure we also acknowledge uh, Sharon Hurt, uh, at-large council, council member, and Representative Bo Mitchell, Tennessee State Rep District 50, in addition to all of our elected officials that are here today. So thank you again for spending your morning with us. Uh, a couple other things, and I know David Prophet got a, a couple great shout outs, and he is an amazing person for this district. Uh, but Casey and Bob, and I don't know if they're here, that they're really doing uh, a lot of the work with me on the ground. So thank you. I see Casey back there. Uh, excited to work with them over the next couple of years to make this a reality. Um, and then I think you see their names coming up, both uh, our friends at Hastings Architect uh, and Messer Construction. Um, the architects have done an amazing job. You've seen the photos in the back. Uh, and now we turn it over to our friends at Messer uh, who tell me this thing's going to be up and running by June 2023 so we can have a very smooth August opening. So now the work is ready to begin and uh, we got to start moving some dirt. So I think a few of us get to, to be the first ones to, to move this dirt behind us. So I know Mayor Cooper, Dr. Battle, Councilman Tyler, Councilman Hauser, and Councilman Member Rosenberg, and I think a couple of others, if you've been asked to, to join us up here and we'll get the project started. And everybody, please grab a poster on the way out. Feel free, they're up here for you. This has been a service of the Metro Nashville Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit nashville.gov.